So now that we talked about some shooting techniques for compound bows, let's talk real quick about crossbows. This is my Barnett C5 Wildcat. It is a fantastic bow for the money for a crossbow. It is great for accuracy. It's awesome price points, about $300, $350. You can also find them used. And I love Barnett because of the value and quality that you get all in one package. In fact, with this crossbow I purchased, I got a red dot scope, I got a quiver, I got four bolts to get me started. It's a fantastic little setup. What a lot of folks don't use is a rope cocking device, which I have installed on here and I'll show you how I'm gonna use it. It's extremely easy to use. A lot of folks still cock by hand, which is just by pulling up both sides of the uh, string up to cock it. And I disagree with that because, and as I learned the hard way uh, when it came to having some accuracy issues years ago, you're gonna put stress on the limbs on one side or the other side of the limbs when you deal with that, whenever you uh, cock it by hand, even if you have the best intentions and think you're cocking it as even as possible you're going to still have some evenness in the limb so um, what i have is a barnett rope cocking device i had this installed and ready to go it simply goes all the way around the rail the back part of the rail and it's very very easy to pull up you're going to put your foot into the foot section down here which that's what it's designed for however you cock it you can take it stand up or you can even do it sitting down it's just easier standing up you're gonna put that in your foot. The, uh, you're gonna put the, uh, the area down here where you put your foothold and you're going to pull up very, very, very gently, very evenly, just like that until you hear it click. And automatically, this crossbow is going to set itself on safety. And most of these modern crossbows now have a safety device that you have to literally put it on fire and move the safety forward every time you cock it. It's just a safety procedure. Next thing is how to put an arrow into a crossbow. And I'm sorry, a bolt is what we call this, crossbow arrows. And uh, this is a half moon knock. You wanna make sure you shoot the correct length of bolt and also the correct um, spine and uh, most bow manufacturers are going to uh, manufacture their own arrows. This is a Barnett arrow. It's fine. Luminoc and several other bow uh, hunting manufacturers and archery manufacturers out there also make bolts that are very fine quality as well. But what you're going to do is you're going to have two different light colored veins and one different odd colored vein. This one has one that is um, white and two that are green. So what I'm going to do is put the white vein down into the rail area okay and i'm doing that just because it's just good shooting form and make sure that you're going to get the same accuracy out of your shot shot after shot and uh, that just goes into the little rail area down here then you're going to move it all the way back move the bolt all the way back to your string and on a barnet at least you're going to go all the way back there you want to make sure that you're even that your odd cocked vein is down in that channel and that you have even spacing between the top part of your, of, your, um, of your fletching here and the rail. So you wanna make sure that it's in there even Steven every single time you do this, okay? And that's one thing I check religiously whenever I'm going out hunting. Another thing that I use that I absolutely swear by is a monopod or a bipod. And that's gonna help you with your accuracy and not dropping the crossbow or having to um, a good follow through as well. It's just like shooting a rifle in a lot of regards because when you have that monopod set up like that, you can easily steady on that shot, turn on your crossbow, sight, whatever sighting system you have. I have a red dot uh, scope that has three different um, dots on it. One's for about 20 yards, one's for about 35 yards, and in this bow, the bottom one is about 50 yards, okay? And then I'm going to aim at my target, and the crossbow really works well with a monopod or a shooting stick of any kind like this because, and what I do before I go hunting, is I make sure that I've got this set up, especially if I'm gonna be hunting stationary on a bucket like this um, that I'm gonna take out in the woods with me in a deer stand. Even if I'm gonna be hunting and on the move for coyotes or anything like that, I'm gonna be able to uh, know where I'm gonna be seated and the position that I want this monopod so I can get a steady rest very, very fast and ready to go, boom, I'm right on target, just like that. That's what I'm looking for whenever I'm going to be carrying a monopod with me, making sure that it's going to uh, help my accuracy, not uh, having to fool with it and get it set up to the right length 
before I shoot. So if I'm gonna be shooting off of this bucket, for instance, which is a swivel bucket that I've got like this so I can move my, um, my uh, position of I need to, I'm gonna make sure that I have that preset on that monopod so I'm ready to go. And these Barnettes are very, very good as far as accuracy goes because they have a very light trigger. And most crossbows these days have very light triggers. In fact, so light that some people that have shot it have almost been scared by the shot going off because it's such a light trigger. So very, very good trigger control, just like in shooting a rifle is very, very important here. And what I'm gonna do is just aim down here, aim at my target, and just very, very, very gently, there it is, okay? There it is, a lot of moving parts there. You're just squeezing the trigger, this is releasing, and there you go. Every time you cock this though, it's going to go back on safe, so you've gotta move it forward to fire, and it's just like shooting a rifle in that regard too. Now a lot of guys have given me you know, trouble over hunting with a crossbow and this, that, and the other, and I love hunting with a crossbow because to me, it gives me uh, the ability to hunt in a smaller area where I don't have, I have a 30 inch wingspan, I'm a very, very tall guy. So having to pull a, a bow back in a regular standard bow blind that's not an extra large bow blind, it's an issue for me. And uh, the other thing that this allows me to do is hunt in those tighter spaces and also get great penetration and uh, a very, very fast recovery. And that's what I need, especially in some of the um, suburban type areas and behind the green belts and that kind of stuff I hunt. Um, that's going to be absolutely paramount in that regard. And this makes sure I have a solid rest. This is my total setup here. And I've taken animal after animal after animal. This year alone, I got three deer with, uh, with my Barnett and then um, all of them with our archery kills though. And uh, so I've got some with my crossbow and then some with my compound bow. So it's a fantastic way to hunt. I believe it's just as challenging as regular archery because you're still having to get in there and do your math and and figure out you know your setup and your windage and so on and so forth and uh, making sure that you're not getting winded by the animals and those kind of things as well so it's very very challenging in that regard still and to me it's bow hunting still it's very very much bow hunting um, because you still have the same challenges with yardage and so on and so forth the thing I love about crossbow hunting is it just got legalized here in the last two years here in Texas. And I absolutely love it because it brings folks that normally are not into archery into an easier way to shoot if they don't have the time to master a compound bow. Uh, crossbow is an easy way. If they're rifle shooters, it's a great crossover. And uh, these things are just lethal, man. I've not, uh, I've not lost an animal in, in, in the recent past with a compound bow or with a crossbow because my fundamentals are down and uh, especially with a crossbow because you've got such strong kinetic energy in a short bolt uh, hitting that animal. I use Grim Reaper broadheads for the, um, the two inch cut radius especially and that punches those broadheads through every single time with 125 grain two inch um, cut. So fantastic products, I absolutely. And one thing that we do here on our show is we only represent the absolute best. We only represent the best. And Barnett, in my opinion, is one of the best crossbows out there. It's one of the best value-minded crossbows. You can go and spend 800 to uh, $1,000 or more on a crossbow these days. But Barnett's very value-minded and uh, very accurate and very lethal. For this segment of Bowtails, I'm Dustin Warnke. Thank you so much for joining us today. Mm -hmm.